Hello, my name's Stuart Parker and welcome to Parker Furniture Workshops. I've been a joiner cabinet maker for over 25 years and I hope this video helps with your DIY project. Now I'm going to take some time to just show you how you use the two most popular saws on the market. Just a quick tip before we go any further, obviously these are wood saws and you couldn't cut plastics and aluminiums etc with them, purely wood. If you would, you'd probably just dump, dull the blade. You wouldn't actually hurt yourself, but you would dull the blade and it'd be useless and you'd have to discard it. So only use fibrous boards and woods. So basically, when you cut the wood, always clamp it down. If you don't, when you saw it, this is gonna move about and not very easy to cut. Simply, I'm just gonna clamp that down. So now that's got the workpiece held down. First of all, we're gonna use the tenon saw. As I said earlier, we're gonna use this mainly in fine carpentry, but I'm just gonna show you how to use it across the grain as if you were cutting a housing joint. I simply start with my thumb on the timber, push the saw up to my thumb. You would normally have a pencil line across here and I would just guide it across the pencil line. But starting with the top of the blade, I would slowly just draw it backwards and forwards. Don't rush this, because this has a tendency to bounce and you'll end up coming across your hand. So nice and slowly and take your time. When you've cut that to the required depth, you literally go over to the other side. Now all I would simply do is just get my chisel and hammer and remove the excess from the centre, causing a housing joint. Now we're going to move on to the traditional panel saw. This isn't a rip saw, a rip saw is a similar looking but a bigger blade. Basically as, we, as you can see here we've got a pre-finished MDF board and basically what I'm going to do is slowly, once again starting at the front to start the saw, slowly draw it backwards and forwards using all the saw because what you'll do is you'll dull the centre of the saw if you don't. As you can see there, it's nice and straight and I've got no chip out. If I was to pull it back, I would rip out the board. This is no good, particularly in kitchen fitting. So there you have it. That's how you use two saws, the most you get on the market, and I hope you enjoy using them. Thanks for joining us on how to use hand saws.